Instead of product, we offer solution. Instead of promotion, we offer information for uh, relationship uh, building. Instead of price, we offer value. Thus, value cost pricing often works. And then instead of place, we offer access. Access wherein it would meet the, the, the requirements of your customers. But the requisite of all this is still market research. Starting a business, starting a marketing plan, or implementing a marketing plan involves lots of risks. Now, um, those risks can be mitigated or can be reduced by market research. One way to do market research is customer development. You want to get as much feedback, first-hand feedback, from your customers. So what is customer development? Simply... You interview people using a structured interview questionnaire and some kind of prototype with you. So if you want to do business smartly, you want to do business based on customer feedback and customer needs or wants. That is why we have um, this marketing uh, market research that would use customer development as your actionable uh, actionable way to improve on your business idea and also uh, find clues on how to market uh, certain how to market uh, the benefits or the, the the offer you want to pursue based on your products and services so uh, customer uh, development involves um, well asking uh, um, asking questions that would entice action because people usually especially family and friends uh if you ask them uh would you uh would you want this product or or is this good is this a good business idea usually family friends they would say yes to everything because filipinos typically are the nicest people and then they want to uh they want uh, their family members or other or their friends uh, feel good. So that is why you want to do an actionable uh, questions that would track actions, not just what they feel. So uh, a good way to track action is actually pre-selling your your pre-selling your your products, even if you don't have you don't have that yet. So uh, ask them, would you pay for this kind of service? Or can I ask uh, pre-orders and you need to pay now? So usually, they will, their reaction will be different just by asking them, uh, uh, do you want this product? Uh, it's very different. Pick a price uh, and, then, and then ask them that question. And usually, it would be, a good start on getting insights from your customer but in in doing uh, a good customer development research usually uh, talk to uh, people within your selected or, or your targeted market uh, that you don't know so that there would be no uh, prejudices or, or biases with that when you get that feedback when you get that patterns of insights from what your customers would say to you on that customer development research you can create a marketing mix based on that data um, the usual um, uh, what they call this error or failure in doing the marketing plan is that you just create a marketing mix or the marketing core piece at the start of the marketing plan exercise you don't have any idea what the customers want and just create straight up the product promotion price and place so uh, usually that would uh, result in a big marketing plan that is full of biases uh, and then uh, 
risks are uh, a lot in that method of doing the marketing plan. So what we should do is to start with an actionable market research, even a small one, and then use the feedback to create your um, marketing mix. So a marketing mix is the marketing four piece uh, why four piece because it's a uh, product number one number two it's promotion place and price now product is something that you sell product or service promotion is how you would uh, entice or how would you educate your market and uh, persuading them to buy the product you're offering the price is the value you attach to your product. And then and then the place is where you distribute or where you offer the product you intend to sell. In in my experience, uh, because there's before uh, there is a division between the offline business or the, the, the typical physical business. And then the online business, where the e-commerce, the Instagram stores, the Facebook. But now, it is a requirement uh, that if you have a physical store, you should at least have an online footprint. Uh, even even just a Facebook page, just to just for people to know you exist and. Uh, uh, and people would uh, find you online because most Filipino, uh, the the latest number, every every offline inquiry leads to an online inquiry eighty eight times out of ten. So if ten people would walk into your store, a physical store, maybe if you're selling something, ten people, if ten people would walk in and ask for something or ask or inquire about your products usually when they go out they eight of that 10 people would search information about you on the internet um, that's um, the thing now uh, can't really put that division anymore the offline and offline the offline and the online world uh, it's now blurred and uh, there are cases wherein uh, being offline would be enough. Uh, if you're a sari sari store, uh, you don't need to put online or an online uh, footprint, obviously. But if you're an operating business that has a vision of growing and being a big company in the future, uh, this is uh, an inevitable option. So you need to combine both. So instead of the four P's, I uh, we uh, the the marketing world is uh, shifting to a Siva uh, marketing mix. Why Siva? Instead of product, we offer solution. Solution uh, something like a design offering uh, needs to solve customer problems. So this is tied up with our first assignment, which is the business idea based on problems of customers needs and wants so your offer your product or service should at least address customer needs customer problems so that you can have a bigger chance of uh, sustaining your business in the long run so it's not just what you offer uh what features you your product has or, or what kind of product add-ons or service add-ons you offer. It's about addressing customer problems and meeting that their expectations in terms of uh, solving their problems. And then instead of promotion, uh, we offer information. Today, uh, as we speak, uh, a lot of information is freely available online so uh, in terms of marketing you need to create information or content that would uh, educate 
your target market and maintain not just a, a one-way push marketing wherein you just create flyers and then give it to people um today it's more about today the marketing world is about relationships relationships wherein you nurture your customers not necessarily selling to them send them uh, content about what you do uh, how you can help people your services can help people and then you offer information beyond what you offer so if you are for example a a a marketing agency so you do marketing plans for other businesses it's not about uh, it's not about just creating content on how your services is good, is great. It's about uh, putting out information on how you can help your, your your target market in terms of growing their business and how you can help them uh, improve their their day-to-day activities. It's more on that. And then when they need something related to marketing, they would uh, the, the first or the top of mind name that they would come up is you because they have that you created that relationship that experience and uh, that experience uh, resulted in your brand because well you you, you nurtured the, that uh, that engagement with them so you you became uh, their number one option in case they need something so instead of the price uh, on the marketing four piece, we offer usually value. So price price in the marketing four piece can be uh, can be uh, made through several methods. The first pricing is about cost pricing or or yeah, cost pricing. So you just compute the total cost. And then that total cost, you just add up a certain percentage, which is your markup. And then that would be the total cost, the total price for you. So if you're selling 100 pesos, just add a 50% markup. And then your price, total the, the price per item would be 150 pesos. Simple as that. The other one is competitive pricing. So if you're selling... A, T-shirt, hundred pesos, uh, but you saw a competitor selling at eighty pesos, for example. You just bring down your price at eighty. So simple as that. You copy, you copy, or uh, or you at least uh, set a price close to that uh, close to that competitor. And then we have the value pricing. So. I mentioned that uh, you should offer solution, should offer solution to solve customer needs and wants. So, you, so the, the prerequisite to, to that is that is is you need to know what the customer really need or really want. So if you have that product or service to to address their their solution or their problems or needs. You price based on the benefit that your your product offer. So uh, you articulate benefits related to to your your product, not not focusing on the cost or the competitor prices. So it, it's more on the value that your product offer. So it's like uh, um, um, cell phones, for example. Um, because because of, of the value of the iPhone can charge more as compared to a similar uh, phone with has the same specs but would have different um, uh, different branding and then a different features wherein uh, they need uh, something like an iTunes ecosystem so other phones don't offer that so uh, it addresses a need that they wouldn't want they don't want to uh, to find uh, applications movies podcasts or music from other sources 
So they should want they want it available on their phones. And also that the brand is a is a um is a status symbol. So that is a solution for them and it offers a different value and they can charge higher than normal. So it's better to uh, to pursue a value based pricing rather than the cost. But but there's also an exception if you're uh, into a cost leadership strategy you want to be the lowest priced item within your area within your market or within your industry well you can you should pursue cost cost based pricing you want to be cheapest but most of the time it's value based pricing uh, that's my experience because in the supply and demand function if you charge low more people would line up to you because you would earn via the economies of scale so the more people the more uh revenue the total revenue we get because your prices are low so you 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 sell by volume but if you charge high uh or you charge based on value you would need a smaller number of customers uh, we're in a small number of customers uh, that would equal to the, the, the revenue of the, the low price strategy so for example uh, for example for the low cost you need to around 1,000 customers uh, so you need to uh, the, the effort to serve that 1,000 people would be higher but but if you're a value-based pricing uh, business for as low as maybe 10, 10, 10 to 100 people, your revenue would equal uh, to that of the, the cost, cost leadership strategy base. But it's still based on your co competition. Um, that's only my my uh, experience. I always pursue value-based pricing because um, time uh you need less time to serve those people uh imagine serving 1000 people at a low um low profit margin as compared to servicing a small number of people with high profit margin and the the total profit would be just the same yeah so uh that's instead of price uh we pursue value so that's my uh personal opinion on the methods of pricing i pursue value-based pricing especially if you have an original product but if you're pursuing a franchise based business or or you you just buy a franchise you, know, you, you don't have that luxury of setting the price they have their prices set for you and then last of the four p's is the place um which uh, we can now call access so we allow customers to purchase when and how they want instead of just a static distribution so nowadays uh people are uh or businesses are opting for omnichannel 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 means you have distribution in the physical uh in the physical um distribution centers such as uh, um, maybe department stores or retail shops and then you have an e-commerce store so that people won't line up basically uh, you, you can because needs are changing you need to offer uh, access to whatever your customers want so that is uh, the SIVA marketing mix so instead of product, we offer solution. Instead of promotion, we offer information for uh, relationship uh, building. Instead of price, we offer value. Thus, value cost pricing often works. And then instead of place, we offer access. Access wherein it would meet the, the, the requirements of your customer. But prerequisite of all this is still market research.